We thought it would be really interesting to put a writer with her own entourage of a makeup artist, a trainer, a nutritionist, and obviously the hairdresser, and ask her to spend four days with them and find out what's it like to be center of attention like that. We get to hear what a real person feels like to sort of be a celebrity. It's sort of a reflection of what's going on in Hollywood right now. One of my specialties is writing first person type of experiential stories. So. Um, this is what I do, this is what I enjoy doing, so I thought it sounded really fun. I was up for the challenge. For celebrities and for actors and actresses who are working on movies, they're often in very close proximity with these people. Some of our clients, that you know, you wake them up in the morning, you're the first one there. You go mm -hmm. in with a cup of coffee. There is a distinct lack of privacy, let's be honest about that. She was a little bit intimidated, I think, at the fact of having all of these people all around, around her 24 hours a day and also being so done up all the time. When we were going to the gym, there were several people sort of looking at me when I came out of the elevator like, hey, who's that girl? I think people at the gym were already sort of checking other people out and being very competitive in that environment. And when she was there with her whole entourage, people were like, who does this woman think she is? She's bringing a whole crew of people to the, to the gym. She has a photographer following her at the gym. We were out here at Time Warner Center asking women on the street about the concept of celebrities having beauty entourages. I would love it. I would love to be pampered all the time. <laughs> I mean, absolutely. If you want to be, you know, picture perfect all the time, you're going to need someone to help you out with that. It's sad to say that it's necessary for uh -huh. them, but I think uh, in a way it is. I personally find it rather annoying having someone follow me all the time and be like, your hair's not perfect, your hair's not perfect. <laughs> it's fine if you have a couple of people, but you don't need as many as Jennifer Lopez has. People feel good in different ways. I'd like to say it bothers me. It really doesn't. I mean, I, I don't lift an eyebrow to it. I just say whatever goes. It's a fun story. It's, it's lively and I, I really loved it. But I think it's a very good example of why it's important not to get used to having a beauty entourage because then when they go, you really miss them. If you need some attention and uh, you want to be mistaken for a celebrity, uh, get all your friends to walk around you and put on sunglasses. What can I say? We set Erin up in sort of like a situation where they went and worked out. Make sure your toes don't drop your body. Okay. And you keep your chest up. Yes. Danilo, the hairstylist, actually went and worked out with Erin to keep her company to sort of do a little bit of hand holding and, you know, to touch up her hair. It's been so cool working with Erin. I mean, she's just like such a trooper and I'm sure she's like, her behind is probably aching in her legs because we really worked her hard. I mean, I was, I was working hard. I'm sure she's doing hair and nutrition. It's just like, she's really living a celebrity life, huh? With Erin, we're going all through her diet, her supplement regime, her exercise regime, and we're putting her on a plan that's going to stabilize her blood sugar, get her energy levels up during the day, and help balance out her nervous system so that she sleeps better throughout the night. I don't even recommend the flu vaccine ever. Really? Really. You can totally do it naturally with echinacea and some vitamin C. Erin also went to an evening of private shopping at Chanel. Kate Lee, our makeup artist, is a Chanel makeup artist, so they went through and picked out all the right makeup for her, and then she went and tried on all this clothing and jewelry, sort of in the way that a celebrity might go into a designer showroom and pick out a dress for a premiere. You see, that's the, the plus that many celebrities have. They yeah. speak to Danilo, and Danilo said, you need this shampoo, this conditioner, this is how you're going to style it, this is how you touch up. And I say, okay, this is the right foundation for your skin type, this is the right color for you, this is great for this. And so they have that knowledge, then they have it in their purse. 
If a celebrity was in town to promote a movie, they would be put up at a hotel. So we have Aaron in his suite at the Four Seasons, which you know a lot of celebrities check into when they're in town as well. Anything outrageous that's happened as, as far as uh, my part, I've completed the look with color, a splash of color on the nails, and the celebrity can't sit still long enough for it to dry. And then I see that tiny little blemish in the thumbnail or something, and it's like I gotta get in there. People really enjoyed doing this story and they gave us a lot of their time. When you have a crew that's your friends who are following you around and like making sure you look great. Like, wouldn't that be amazing just to look like a better version of you every single day? Her takeaway was that it's very easy to get used to and she would love to have had them stay, but it also comes with its own pressures. All my people are wonderful, so it's been fun. I'm gonna miss them when it's over. We were thrilled to do a party for the Lipstick Jungle premiere. I was a huge fan of Sex and the City, and when I heard that Candice Bushnell was behind a new series for television about women, I couldn't wait to see the pilot. What Candice does with her characters is she not only truly respects them, she respects the diversity in them.